Hey everybody, well I've just had one of those why the fuck was the camera not on moments. I really, really fucking wish it was on because that would have been so funny. I'll tell you about it in a second when I can get some fuel. It's a Saturday Easter bank holiday weekend and there are bikes everywhere. Oh, take it deep. Take all of it. Uh, that's it, Jesse. It's not a huge thing, it's just a little thing for when you're on a 125, it makes you so happy. You know that road where it's like straight and there's fields either side and then I like, there's two little technical corners, like a right and a left. I'm sure my regular viewers know just what I'm talking about because I go down that road so often. Well anyway, I'm going down there. I'm doing the speed limit, ish. And then a sports bike whips past me. I think it was a 400 or some kind. I hadn't really got that much of a close look at it. And he shot past me with that half an inch room. I was, like, I was like, fuck! Again, people overtaking me at ridiculous speeds. <laughs> well, anyway, I was just like, ah, oh, I wonder if he can keep up that speed. So I carried on going as I was, went through those two couple of little technical little corners, came out the other side and caught him up. Me, my little 125. It was, I think it's because of the corners. Yeah, okay, he must have slowed down a bit, but even if he'd slowed to 30, he still should have been gone by that point. So I don't really understand quite what happened there. Anyway. As soon as he sees that I've caught him up, he's like, fuck this, pulls away. As soon as he gets to a corner, he lays the bike the fuck down. Literally, a proper swing out, whomp, onto its side. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. Turns around one way, goes to do it the other way. The fucking bike, the grip snatches, and he goes, oof, in the middle of the corner. And, I'm, and then from that point onwards, was just like, okay, I'm, I'm riding normally now. I know I've got an L plate. I know that means that my bike is slower than your bike. But... It's nothing more enjoyable than when you're on a 125 and someone tries to, you know, show their dominance with their power and then you find that their riding skill leaves them a little shy. This is one of the reasons I'm able to survive with a 125 without any trouble is because on this island the roads are so small and twisty and tight that it's suited for smaller bikes. That's a nice person. Thank you. Now, if you just pull just a little bit further over, just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm off to Chichester to pick up my 600D for the Wildlife Channel. Now, which way's the wind direction? These are the things on 125 that you have to consider. I'm going on dual carriageway for about nine miles. Which way's the wind direction? Because it's going to have a huge impact on my speed. The trees aren't moving too much. It might not be that windy, it might be all right. Eep. Okay, so here we go, A27 to Chichester. It's a very boring road in the 125. Come on, my little Jesse! We've got a side head wind, we're doing 60. Fuck. This right here is the only time I wish I had a bigger bike. It's right now. We can go for a tuck, see if we can improve the speed. 65. 70. So there you go. 60 if you're all sitting up. 70 if you tuck. I don't trust that BMW one fucking bit. I'm sure, on a sports bike, on a clear road, this road would be fun. But, uh, for me, it really isn't. And why am I being held up? No! What are you doing? This is from the Yammer 125 on a dual carriageway. You go in that one, and you're going to get cars going straight up your ass at 20 mile an hour faster than you're going. You sit in this lane, and you got stuck behind people going so slow! Catching up again! Let's try the nitrous out. Oh fuck, I didn't refill it. Let's go for a tuck and an overtake. Come on! Reel it in! Rest! Come on! Yes, 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 yes! 
Jesse, you can do it. You can do it. Overtake the fucking uh, Mazda. Woohoo! Oh, we have a glass board injury. Oh, there's this adding downforce. Five miles to Chichester. Not long now. Come on. I okay, that's it. I'm slowing down. I'm the one on the 125. I'm the one who should be bored. You're slowing me down. And there's a dead pretty on the floor. Is that a dead crow? No! I am on the A27 on a back that can only do 11. <laughs> board, 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 Oh, come on. Oh, come on, it's a corner, not a fucking cliff. You don't need to slow down. These strikes are making me think of something. Is that... On? No, 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 it was the way back from the Brighton Burn-Up. Furious 607 threw a banana at me. It wasn't on camera. Well, it was actually, but never got shown because it was highly illegal. <laughs> Throwing fruit at each other on a motorway, but... Jill Crowder, even. Um, but, yeah. I, I know you can't see me, lorry driver, because I can't see your mirrors. Oh, no. It's just... Get through all of this. It's the bank holiday, that's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Go through the traffic. See? Thank you. Person got out of my way. Chichester. We're going to Chichester. Right, well, we're in Chichester now. What the fuck was this video all about? Oh, yes, it's, uh, what is it? Experiencing the dual carriageway with me, because I normally cut it out. Well, there you go. That's what it's like on a long dual carriageway trip. Boring as hell! But not necessarily as slow as you might think. <sighs> Good work, my Jesse. Right, I want to catch you next time. <laughs> to own this motorcycle, to run it, to maintain it, to fuel it, to insure it, to tax it, costs less per day than, or per week than the equivalent weekly bus, bus ticket would be.